Guys, gals, and fellow Dinner Nogging Forum pals, welcome back. My legal name is C28, and today we're going to be making kombucha out of prime. Yeah, this is going to be a wild journey. So, recently I finished um, bottling, uh, not bottling, but uh, setting up a jar of kombucha made from Powerade, as requested from Luke Roberts, one of the control voltages. So that is currently the process of brewing right now. Uh, you can follow the action on YouTube Shorts and see the progress of that kombucha as this one once it uh, is set up in here. So yeah, uh, step one, I'm just going to be sanitizing this jar. So I'm gonna use some star sand just to make sure that any uh, harsh stuff in here that may be in here, this is the first time it's opened, uh, is not gonna be uh, harming my kombucha. So. Again, as mentioned before in uh, some of the other kombucha videos, star sand is a pretty aggressive acid. So you don't want to get this stuff on you. Um, I'm only going to be using a very small amount. That's it. That's all you need. You don't need a whole lot. So I'm going to put this uh, back on and then my star sand can go back away. This stuff will last you years. Um, you're rarely going to need that much. So now, of course, I'm going to put some water in here. And then put the top on and give it a shake, shake, shake. Well, cool. And now run the water because uh, when I open this up, it starts sounds going to spill out. There we go. Don't want to get that on me for too long. And then as long as you're diluting it with water, you can 100% just pour it down here. Um, while it is an acid, it's not like foil. It's not this crazy thing. It is a food grade cleaner. So while it's definitely not ideal to have this stuff go on you, uh, it, it is designed for cleaning foodstuffs, um, especially for making uh, brew, brewed products. So kombucha, beer, wine, the sorts. And just like that, we've sanitized our jar. Boom, boom. So, very nice. So now, <laughs> easy step. All we gotta do is uh, pour the prime in here and then put a SCOBY in there. So let me grab a SCOBY from the current hotel. I'll be right back. So here we are. This is the current SCOBY hotel and super easy. I'm just gonna glove up, take the top off and then uh, the younger SCOBY, I'm gonna see if I can take that out, attach it from the uh, the older SCOBY and see if we can use that newer SCOBY to make our prime kombucha. Very fun. So off at the top here. And now to grab our little SCOBY friend. So, let's see, will you come off cleanly? Doesn't look like you want to. Come on, friend. Oh, it's so slimy. Okay, I might just have to grab all of it. We really don't want to though. Okay, so, I mean, that will work. That's gross. <laughs> I wanna see if I can grab a better um, kombucha around here. There we go, this is the one I wanted. This is the friend, okay. This little friend is who I was trying to actually grab. Uh, we can put you back in here, friendo. So here, this is the scoby that we can use, uh, we'll use for our prime kombucha. Yeah, yeah. Of course, the next step, very simple is pour it in. But before we do, um, just like with the Powerade, there is a sugar issue. So while there's a lot of sugar in these, it's actually not enough um, for the kombucha process. The kombucha process needs quite a bit of sugar. Uh, and it's not that you're gonna have all that sugar in there when you drink the kombucha, it's more that that sugar is gonna be converted into the acids that actually make it kombucha. So the sugar's not gonna still be there when you drink it. Uh, all that sugar is gonna be converted into the acids that will be um, used for the kombucha. Whatever <laughs> that it turns into kombucha really. So, oh, we don't need to do that actually. We're going to replace top here. There we go. All right, let's go to the hotel and go back. So we want about 70 
grams of sugar in here. Uh, so let's take a look at what we got here in Prime. So it looks like, oh, please don't tell me you're sugar free. There is one gram of sugar in here. Okay. So because there's only one gram of sugar in Prime, we're gonna need to up that quite a bit. Huh. Well, how about that? So that's really not a lot. <laughs> To allow Prime to turn into kombucha, we're going to need a lot more than one gram of sugar. Uh, let's go ahead and add some more. So each of these is about 12, oh, it's about 12 grams. So we'll do about five, five tablespoons of um, this brown sugar here. Two, three, four. Five. There we go. That should be sufficient for our SCOBY. It's a little on the low side, I'll be honest, uh, but that that should really be enough um, for the reaction to take place and to make this become some sort of kombucha. <laughs> Let's go put my sugar away. So next up is very obvious. We're going to pour the prime in here. So <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that. I've actually never tasted prime before, so um, I suppose I could do that. Let's, let's give this a little taste test. Is this the... I, I can't remember which one of these is the, um... Oh! oh yeah, no mistake in that. This is the, the control, so... Let's try some of this. That is nasty. That is absolutely, appallingly disgusting. I hate that. Hopefully it's better as kombucha, we'll see. Um... And it goes. This might just kill the SCOBY. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this might just kill the SCOBY. <laughs> this stuff, uh, wow, is, is harsh. We'll see what happens, I suppose. We'll, we'll just have to see what happens. So put the top back on here. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I properly, um... no, I, I think I did. Yeah, I just wanna make sure we don't have any star sign left over. All right. So, we're going to mix up all this sugar here into the prime. Let's see, we got it all there. Oh, there's a lot still. All right, I'm just going to have to shake it quite a bit. Let's get all that sugar to um, dissolve into the prime. That is truly disgusting. I, I do not like that. <laughs> I hope it's just the flavor and it's not just like prime some awful concoction of nasties. I think that's good enough. So yeah, most of the sugar seems like it's dissolved in there pretty well. So now it's time for the fun part. Glove back on. And it doesn't really need to be sterile. It's just kind of avoiding getting any um, negative bacteria that could compete. Um, Anything that could promote the development of mold. I don't want that. So here's your SCOBY. And it goes. And now we just, uh, well, we, we put the top one and we wait. So you can deglove now. And this kombucha batch is going to need a name. So what shall we call you? Prime Kombucha. Prime kombucha, ice pop, prime kombucha with a baby scoby. Baby scoby, energy drink. It's a hydration drink, but like, I mean, is this an energy drink? What is it? It's mainly coconut water, it says. All right, it's 10% coconut water. Um, prime was developed to fill the void where great taste meets function with bold, thirst quenching flavors to help you refresh. Replenish and refuel. Prime is the perfect boost for every endeavor. We're confident you'll love it as much as we do. Humbly, the Prime team. I'm sorry, Prime. This one in particular is disgustingly awful. I don't like it. Hopefully, the kombucha process improves it some bit. Um, but we, we will see. I, I'm open to trying different flavors. Maybe this is just like the worst Prime flavor there is. Uh, it, it just stood out to me for the, you know, the whole 
French flag aesthetic that's got going on. <laughs> Let's call it hydrated baby. <laughs> So it's a hyd hydrated baby scoby. So hydrated, um, but yeah, hydrated baby. That that just seems strange, but let's do it. Hydrated baby. <laughs> That's wild. Cool. All right. Well, on goes the name. Hydrated baby. And on goes the cover. I actually didn't need another one before bands, but I suppose we can end the video. Well, I'll get one more. All right, another rubber band. Just need you know, to give it actually secure. So there we go. Hydrated Baby is um, contained. And we'll check up on uh, this little Hydrated Baby in um, YouTube Shorts. So if you want to see. The final outcome, I will again post that on bottling day. Uh, we will we'll test the kombucha and uh, make sure it is ready for um, consumption. But there we go. We got uh, two kombuchas brewing right now. We've got Hydrated Baby and we have Blue Synth Lead. So looking forward to seeing how these two turn out, if they do at all. Uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you can subscribe and each will happily give you more content like this from myself and other creators. Very fun indeed. And if you super enjoyed it, you can join. Become a Control Voltage where you'll get early access to videos, behind the scenes content, access to the Discord server and more down the line. Very cool perks indeed and it helps support this channel tremendously. So if you have any questions or comments, you can of course leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to them. Post them in the space if they're super cool and I enjoy them or something like that. Yeah. I hope you all take care of yourselves. God be with you. And goodbye, YouTube.